Puppets are being uh, made by Claire Harvey, a very talented puppet maker. We're working with a composer called Jim Harborn, who's a very talented uh, folk songwriter who also creates amazing soundscapes. We're working with many actors who've worked with Tucked In before who are very skilled at not only storytelling and singing, uh, puppetry, um, movement, uh, but they're also fantastic devisers. We work a lot with light, creating really beautiful images, uh, humour, and we really like to try and find a world that is small and handmade. In fact, a lot of this set is made from recycled materials. It's a kind of huge, expansive world made from stuff that you can find in your house. The Salmonfish is an interesting everyman character, a passenger through this incredible, uh, complex world. The Salmonfish in our story goes through a very, very exciting quest, starting off actually its life in the salmon nursery where Steve works. So we've actually taken reality and we made a theatrical version of this uh, salmon hatchery where he works. It starts its life there and it's nurtured through uh, all the way through to the fry stage where it's a small little fish and it ends up being taken to a stream in the, uh, near the River Tay where it starts its life and we follow its life all the way through to the oceans where it comes across all sorts of predators, it finds food and of course it comes across the human obstacles. There is going to be a moment, a sort of point of no return, where fish stocks and marine life cannot recover uh, from the declining sort of numbers. That moment is coming. It's more important to tell this story than ever in history. A lot of what you read in the papers and seeing documentaries is very sort of doom and gloom about this subject. What we're trying to do with this story for children and their families is to tell a positive, entertaining story which is moving and funny um, and hopefully it will leave the audience leaving the theatre beaming um, and also start a conversation between the children and, the, and their parents uh, when they ask why those things were happening to the salmonfish, why was that journey so difficult, what were those obstacles that the salmonfish faced. Humans are unbelievably inventive, creative and capable. And I do think that somewhere along the line, how much devastation will have to happen before this happens, somewhere along the line, somebody will come up with the solution, if you like, the solutions, there'll be lots of It's a good idea because if people get loaded, they might stop eating fish and then fish might be able to get bigger amounts. Then we'll be able to start again and then we might start the whole process again but then we'll see how the outcome was the first time mm -hmm. and we can hopefully make the outcome better. Because we love our fish, we love eating them but we do like seeing them and how their nature is just like us. This is a warning to stop eating so much fish or stop fishing for so much fish. We're showing you the other things you can do.